Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the video. Obviously this looks a little bit more low res than what we're normally doing here, but I'm taking a break um, as I work on a ton of content like the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 3, iPhone 13, iPad mini, all the new stuff coming out this fall. And so for today, we're just gonna be hanging out on the computer and I wanna show off something I'm really, really excited for from one of my favorite software development companies, Let's jump right into it here. Today, we are gonna be talking about motion VFX and how they finally are jumping on the DaVinci Resolve train. It has been my biggest wish for the past couple of years. The creators of the best plugins for Final Cut, if I open up Final Cut here, you can see that I have a bunch of them. Uh, if you have no idea who motion VFX are, they're a company that creates a bunch of plugins for video editing software, and they are pretty much the best out there for a handful of reasons. Basically, every pack you buy comes with a bunch of really cool animated, sometimes it's, uh, you know, title stuff, overlays, backgrounds, um, the callouts have built-in mocha tracking, really impressive stuff, a bunch of different titles. Now they have M-Tracker 3D, which is really cool. The plugins are always really beautifully designed, but they also always have really good parameters with them. So if I were to drop in one of these, um, you can see how much customization we have with everything from colors to fonts to backgrounds to customizing the line. I love kids. And then obviously you can drop in your own image for this specific icon. But yeah, you can do a ton of stuff with their plugin. So I'm going to quit out of Final Cut here and you can see Resolve in the background. And right before we jump into here, I want to show you what plugins are available. So if I go up to my Motion VFX um, installer here, this is another reason why they're one of the best. Rather than having to keep track of all these different files and folders that you have to place in the right spot, you essentially have a nice pretty library of all your different packs. And you can see here, these are all the ones that I currently have purchased. Uh, by the way, this video isn't sponsored or anything by Motion VFX. They have no idea I'm making it, but the links in the description to these different packs are affiliated. So if you wanna pick one up, help support the channel, I really appreciate it. And you can see the ones here at the top that have DV at the end of the name. These are DaVinci Resolve. So I actually bought three. Uh, they've come out with a couple different ones. I'm actually gonna show you how to buy one and how easy it is to install right now. Uh, Cause actually just this morning, I saw that they released this new uh, MLUT Cine. And so actually if I click on the little banner at the top, it takes me directly to their website. And up here at the top, again, you can see Final Cut uh, is still their bread and butter. They have the majority of this stuff in here. Um, like this new Restyle one looks really cool. And I kind of hope that they're just working on making whichever ones they make for Final Cut, they also make for Resolve. They do have some After Effects templates, but it's not super big at the top because they don't have that many. Um, but now if I go over to Resolve, you're gonna see what's available. The majority of it is LUT stuff since obviously Resolve is the best color grading software. The uh, mHello DV is kind of their intro to DaVinci Resolve and they were actually really smart with it. They made this totally free. I'll leave it as the top link down in the description. Normally the way their product pages work is they have kind of this uh, little intro video that kind of showcases all of the animations being used in kind of a promo sort of way and then Towards the bottom as you scroll, you can actually see all of the individual elements and as you hover over them with your mouse, you can see all of them played out. And again, all these have really nice custom parameters um, that will scroll through here. So it's nice to see that again, if you're new to Motion VFX, that's kind of your little teaser. Now let's go through and show you how easy it is to install. And so when they release something new, they usually have a discount. So it's about 20 bucks off. So if you do this before September 20th uh, to get this specific pack, you can get it for a little cheaper. We can go add it to my cart. And since this is a LUT one, it's actually available pretty much on every program, including Premiere, Resolve, um, Entity, any editing software, because these are just LUTs. Um, the other ones will, again, be more specific to either Final Cut or Resolve, and they'll show you that here. I'm going to sign into my account, and then it jumps to preparing your order, and I'm going to pay via my watch. 
Alrighty, so I've bought it and now I can open my M installer and we can see that it pops up here. Sometimes it takes a second, maybe you need to close this and refresh it, uh, but we can see it already popped up. And all I have to do is hit install. And you can see with all the packs, you essentially have two licenses. So you can put them on two uh, computers if you have like a desktop laptop situation going on. So now that it's all installed and you guys kind of get the gist of how Motion VFX works, let's see how it works in Resolve. Um, again, especially for a lot of you who have maybe used it before in Final Cut, you want to see, is it the same experience in Resolve? Because that's what I was most curious about because Resolve titles... I have had a terrible time with um, in the past. And just as an example, I'm gonna use the video I uploaded yesterday about uh, the iPhone 13 event. If you haven't seen that, feel free to watch it after this video. And you can see that I used some of these uh, titles right here uh, throughout the video, actually, uh, a couple times. All of these were um, the M uh, title m cinema title whatever i love these titles so much i think they're like the best looking one because they're not like super flashy but they're still unique all right so basically to look at titles uh we go into our toolbox here under the titles and um this is where it gets like iffy it's not quite the same experience as final cut i love in final cut how you can kind of click on each pack and easily see um, or kind of just see like what pack you specifically want to, but they all kind of are lumped into the fusion titles. So what I would recommend is if you find ones that you really like, then what you'll want to do is like, if I really, you know, if I always use this one, then I'm going to hit add to favorites. And so that way it kind of shows up over here. Again, that's not a perfect system because if you have a ton of favorites, then that's gonna be pretty rough. So maybe you do like a smart bin sort of situation. But anyway, past that little con, you essentially can see all of your different titles here. The only saving grace is the fact that you can kind of see the title before they're cut off. At least you can see the, um, uh, the pack that it's in. So M Cinematic, uh, I can see all of those. And then as soon as I get into the M Tuber, and they've actually done a good job. I don't know if it's more black magic on DaVinci Resolve side or if it's motion VFX, but the hover over and preview is way improved over what it was. Um, sometimes it didn't work at all or it wasn't smooth. Here I can kind of scrub through them pretty quickly and it's pretty responsive. Still not as perfectly smooth as Final Cut, but again, I'm guessing that's more of a resolve thing. And as soon as I find something that I like, um, let's say it's this one, I can just drag it over my footage. Another thing that I really like uh, with Motion VFX, which they brought over that some of my other resolve title plugins were terrible at, and it's why I never used them, is they never did good at resizing. And so if a title was meant to be four seconds, if you were to shorten it at all, let's say it had an out animation, that out animation would just be like gone. It would just like drop off and the clip would disappear. Um, but these are responsive to how long you lengthen them. So no matter if I put it here, the out animation will start, you know, maybe like right here, or however, before the end of the clip it's supposed to be, or if I lengthen it again, the out will be resized uh, to go at the end. So I'll give this a second to kind of render so it plays back smoothly. All right, so now that we got it rendered out, I'm just gonna play through, we can see the animation. See a nice, pretty little best feature film. And then again, if we go towards the end, we can see that out and it's perfectly resized. Um, we can also see what sort of uh, parameters we get. If we open up the inspector here, maybe I should grab like one of the youtuber -y ones. And so if I click on this one, again, we can see our controls for in and out. So if you don't want the animations, you can turn that on or off. And then for our drop zones, these look a little differently too. It almost looks like you don't have to have it in here. Like Final Cut, you have to have it in the project first. I'll just find like a thumbnail. That's cool. So you can 
put the second file in there. And then of course we have the controls, you have the line controls. Okay. So actually you have about the same amount of parameters. It just looks obviously different and is broken up because it's a different piece of software, but it looks like you have the majority of the controls that I would expect from a motion VFX plugin. Now that LUT pack we just installed, I don't know. So it's actually, it popped up in my downloads here. And so I'm curious. So here's all the presets. Let me see if it auto loaded it in for resolve or if for LUTs, it just kind of downloads it and then you have to place it in the right spot. Let me go over to my LUTs. Motion VFX. Oh no, yeah, they're already in here. Cool. So it gives you the file so I could put these into any other program uh, like Final Cut or, or wherever I wanted to, but it does put them in the LUT folder inside of Resolve's uh, project files anyway. I freaking love Motion VFX. Anyway, that's it for today, guys. I just wanted to show you how um, the plugins work for DaVinci Resolve. It is very close to the experience that I get in Final Cut. And so I'm happy that they took their time with it. Say hi, Yabba. Nope, he's gone. I'm very happy that they took the extra time to make it such a great experience. Thank you, Motion VFX, for eliminating my round tripping workflow. Now I can fully create videos with titles inside of uh, Resolve. Can't wait to see more packs come out. Don't forget to check them all out in the description down below. Again, if you buy one using one of those links, it helps me out a ton. So thank you guys. Uh, and as always, thanks for watching. See you guys in the next video. Happy uh, tech, not techtober yet, but tech fall.